this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, good morning, Busy Elephant, and good morning, Polly Reindeer. I'm here being joined by all of my helpers, because today we are playing a brand new mini game for the first time ever. Well, the first ever proper game with the game actually finished. But first, let's go and have my breakfast, which is, of course, going to be a whole entire cake just for me. Don't judge me. I like it. Nom, 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 nom. Very tasty. Barnaby, you can stand up and you can join me. And before we go and head to the, the fun land to play the game, which has a name, by the way. The game didn't have a name in the last episode. I hadn't come up with it, but I've come up with a name and it's it's a fine name. It's a very appropriate name for what the game is. It's just not, I don't know, a particularly funny or exciting name. And you can see the title of the video. It's called Risk It. That's the, the mini game we're going to be playing today. Uh, but yeah, uh, first to the, the love garden, I'm going to be adding Hallam. And the reason I'm adding Hallam is because he made an absolutely incredible origami Stampy Cat and that is just such a cool style to see Stampy Cat made and I thought it was absolutely amazing so thank you so much for making it and welcome to my love garden. Right then let's go and uh, drop Barnaby off over to the, the the dog house and then I can go and pick up Duncan and Mittens of course the uh, the resident spectators in my lovely world that always join me uh, when we're playing one of the, the mini games basically just so I don't feel mean leaving a dog just sitting there at least the uh, the dog has company with a, a cat so hello Duncan, you can stand up. Barnaby, you can sit down there. And then let's go up to the kitty cat condo where Mittens uh, lives her, her nice quiet life by herself. And we can drag her out of her nice quiet life and go and bring her down with me. Cats generally like quite a lot of solitude. But sorry, Mittens, your restful day is over now. You are going to be joining us. And uh, we are able to, to use the, the teleporter because luckily uh, this uh, game is built pretty much right next to the first teleporter that I ever built in my fun land. So yeah, it will take absolutely no time to, to get there. And it's probably probably the simplest minigame I've ever built in terms of what you need to do to play. Basically, all you're doing is standing in the middle of the game and eating a chorus fruit. And the only decision you need to make is, are you going to, to keep risking it and keep on going? Or just kind of take the, the points that you got in so far and just stick with it. So it's basically a test of who is brave and uh, whether the, the bravery uh, will backfire or not. But anyway, now let's go inside of the, the teleporter. Uh, it's button number one we need to, to use today. In no time at all, we are going to be over at the fun land. Okay, then I do believe that I should be at the, the fun land now, so- oh! <laughs> I fell through my teleporter. That is not meant to, to happen. <laughs> I need to get out of there quick because all of my, my helpers are going to be dashing through there in a second and I don't want to be merged into a elephant beaver- uh, what else is there? Reindeer! <laughs> <laughs> Cat combo all mixed it together. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is it. This is the the, the finished mini game. We we actually pretty much got it all done in the last episode, which I didn't expect to do. We got it all working in the last episode. So all I've done is uh, I've added the the column going up the the middle. There's a bit of like a, a little fancy bit at the the top is the the only way I can think to describe the the fancy bit. Uh, basically, uh, a way to to go up and kind of refill all of the the concrete powder, which is a very important part of the the game. And I needed up just some of the redstone underground, which I don't need to show you. And oh yeah, I added a a ladder down here just in case someone accidentally falls down this pit they won't be stuck in the, the pit forever they have a, a way to, to get back out and uh, yeah I did some glowstone around the outside but apart from that like the actual game part of the game uh, is pretty much exactly uh, the same as it was last episode so uh, right then Duncan you can go and sit down here look at this a front row seat uh, right at the, the very front here and then I guess uh, we can all decide which teams we're, we're going to be I think I'm going to be the, the orange team seeing as my, my outfit matches oranges and oh oh fizzy <laughs> Fizzy is, I guess, the, the, the green team because Fizzy is wearing green. Uh, oh no, everyone's got proper outfits! Oh, everyone's got little outfits for, for what team they're going to be. Perfectly. I got, like, a natural outfit. And oh, I got, like, a real proper outfit as well. So right then, it looks like you're going to be going first then, Fizzy. So do you want to go and uh, step up to the, the plate or step up to the middle of the, the mini game <laughs> if you want to? And oh, this is William's old armor. I can see it's been, oh, it's all sweaty and stuff. I see he's been wearing it. <laughs> I'm sure you've cleaned it before giving it to me. So right then, Fizzy, take it away. Have your first go. So if you can't remember the way the game works, depending on which column you land on, you'll get a certain amount of points. But if you fall down on the floor, you don't get any points. So sadly, not the strongest of starts there for, for Fizzy. So let's see uh, whether William is going to be able to do better. So if you land on the, the purple, uh, you get one point. If you land on magenta, you get two points. And then if you land on the, the pink, which is the very middle, then you get three points. But so far, uh, so far, the combined score of the first two competitors are zero. No, wait, wait. It's my go next, Polly. Your go last. We'll just go in the, the order of the, the buttons, I think, just to just to kind of keep things easier so we don't get confused. So right then, let's see if I can get a single point. I think if I get a single point, I'm just going to accept the point and keep going. Oh, I got two. I got two points. 
Right, I'm not going to risk it. Not in the first game. Not in the first game. I'm going to take my two points <laughs> and put myself in the, the lead. And then Polly is going to, to have her chance to see whether she's going to be able to, to do any better. I'm just happy just to be on the, the scoreboard. Uh, so Polly is going up to, to eat it now. Two is the, the score to, to be. And oh, no! That is zero points. So the glowstone, it doesn't really matter so much for the first round. But if you land on the, the glowstone, then you would not only lose the points for that round, but you would lose all of the points in the entire game. So come and Fizzy, it's your, it's your go next. <laughs> We're not over yet. So we keep playing until someone gets 10 points. So on the, uh, the, the rather, if I may say so myself, a fancy looking scoreboard up there. That uh, trail of glowstone up there, that is like the, the line that you need to, to get to in order to, to get your, your 10 points. So what are you doing, Fizzy? Fizzy's got one point there. What are you, no, don't eat it from there, Fizzy. You've got to go back to the middle. That doesn't know Fizzy. Come on, you know the rules. So Fizzy's got one point so far. And is he going to keep the, the one point or is he going to keep going? Okay, he is going to, to keep going. I think he was hoping to get lucky and teleport back to the, the middle, but that would have been very unlikely. And oh no, he lost it. He risked, I mean, to be fair, it was only one point that he was risking and it's not like people have loads uh, of scores at the, the moment so you don't need to do any crazy risks at the, the moment because no one's really got a big lead it's just me with my two points and oh William was just on the edge there that could not have been closer but that was one point for William and he's risking it he is risking his point and trying to get more is it going to backfire at all that's a second point. Is he going to keep going or is he going to tap out? No, nope, he is going to tap out. So that's two points for, for William. And oh, it's my go. It's my go. <laughs> right. Back into the, the middle. I am now drawing with, uh, with William. So let's see what I get. This is the part which is basically all like, I just don't want to land on the glowstone. <gasps> I was very close to the glowstone. That was another single point. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, a scaredy cat. I'm gonna live up to my instinct and I'm just gonna take my single point. Uh, since I'm, I'm already in the lead, there's no point for me to risk it because I was so close to the glowstone. If I wasn't that close to the glowstone, I might have risked it uh, because I just kind of scared myself just by seeing how close to the, the redstone I was going to, to end up. And oh no, bad luck for, for Polly. So it is, it is a big part about luck with the, the game, but you know, you do have to decide when you want to back out. Like Fizzy could have had points right now, but then he risked it. So it's all about choosing when do you want to, to risk it and when do you not want to risk it. And oh no! But then every now and then that can just happen and then you fall down. But an important thing to, to remember is we're not playing to see who's going to be like first, second, third, and fourth. The only thing that matters is getting first place. Like you're only going to score anything if you are able to, to get to, to first place. So there's no point getting a few points and then like stopping and then kind of like playing it safe. You have to kind of keep going. So I have a pretty good lead at the, the moment. So I don't want to, to lose it. And oh, I didn't get anything. But look how close that is. If I was like a pixel, literally, if I go a pixel this way, I'm on the glowstone. That was absolutely terrifying. So even though I didn't get any points for that round, I don't care. I'm just I'm just happy to not have lost the other points that I got. But then again, I've only got three points and you could get three points from just one teleport if you're able to, to land in the, the middle. But it is the, the most unlikely place to land. We're getting really unlucky here. Like we did a, a test to go like when we first built the, the game and we were getting way more points than this. I think it's the it's the pressure of the, the actual game is making us not do as well. So that's a point for Fizzy. And he, oh, he just wants his point. He just, he's going to play it safe. I think that's the right idea, Fizzy. I think at this point, seeing as no one's far ahead, I think it is kind of best to, to play it safe for, for now. Like if someone had like eight or nine points, maybe risking it would make sense. But for now, playing it safe is going to be a good idea. And oh, nearly jumped over it there. And Hello, Duncan. <laughs> Are you joining in, in the game? That's three points for Duncan because he landed on the, the pink area. I might actually move Duncan out the way because otherwise he's going to be kind of blocking one of the, the areas that we need to, to teleport to. Duncan, you stay down there. He just wanted to join in. Like dogs and cats can naturally teleport, so they don't even need to use the, the chorus route. <laughs> right then, let's go for mine. Let's go. Give me a three. Give me a three. <gasps> it gave me a three. I teleported the tiniest bit. Right. I'm banking it. I'm banking it. That was so lucky. See, all you need to do is ask politely and then you get what you ask for. I just said give me a three and it gave me a three. I got exactly what I asked for and how many points do I have now? Well, let's just see how many more do I need until we get to the glowstone. I need four more points now until I get to the glowstone. I am ridiculously close and oh that's two points. Two points for Polly. Is she going to risk it? No, no, no you've got to go in the middle Polly. If you're going to do it again you've got to always start from the middle. The reason for that is because if you don't start in the middle, you could teleport under the ground because if there's stuff under the ground, then you could end up teleporting down there. But Polly is on a roll. That's four points, Polly. She's risking it. 
She's crazy. Folly's literally crazy. She's risking it. That's she's got no points right now. <gasps> she's got six points. She's got six points. Don't do it again. I don't think my heart could take it if you risk it again. That was so, so smart. Of course, that was Polly doing it. Don't forget to put your points in, though. That's six points for Polly. When she got four, I thought there's no way she's going to risk it, but she is straight up. Is she in second place, or is she drawing with me? Was that one, two, three, four, five? She's drawing with me. In one round, Polly is drawing with me. That was incredible. And Fizzy uh, was able to get another point. I don't think he's going to risk it now. The bar has been raised by Polly's amazing play there. That was, that was pretty brave. But oh, no! Fizzy fell down. I'm sorry, Fizzy. I just feel bad. I think overall I've been pretty lucky so far. And I just feel bad when people aren't lucky. Like it's so much down to luck, but it doesn't make the game any less fun. I'm sorry, William. They're having a troubled time. But look, look at me and Polly, neck and neck. That is incredible. Right then, so what did I need? I need four points in order to win. So I need a three and a one. There's some clever maths for you there. <laughs> no, I got nothing. You know, I don't care. I, st I still take that as a victory. Like, I, at this point, with the amount of points I have, I take anything like that isn't landing on the glowstone as a small victory, because at least I didn't lose my points. But if Polly has another round like that, then she is just going to, to completely outright win. So, for my sake, I don't want that to happen at all. Okay, she did the same. She did the exact same as me. We're still neck and neck. But, as we saw, in just one round, you could get six or more points, so it could literally just turn around in a second. So, we have to watch really carefully as Fizzy's stepping up to the play and oh no sorry fizzy fizzy i think has had the worst luck ever this round i'm sorry fizzy i know i know it's not good is it <laughs> right william is stepping up now and no that the glowstone that's the glowstone sorry william you got to break away all of your concrete powder and i was wrong i said fizzy has had the worst luck William has definitely had the worst luck, but at least he didn't have loads of points to start with. At least he didn't lose loads of points. If that happened to, to me or Polly now, that would be absolutely devastating. So once again, I got zero points from that round. I don't care. I'm happy with that. I'm happy to get zero points because at least I didn't lose any points. <laughs> right, Polly is stepping up now. This is really important. <gasps> two points for Polly. That means she's only two points away from winning and she's playing it safe. <laughs> her bravery is gone. She had her one brave round and now she's, let's be honest, probably doing the smart thing and playing it safe. She's doing exactly what I did. So now... In her next round, if she lands on pink or magenta, then she's won. Then she's won outright. She only needs two more points to, to go. And that was lucky there, Fizzy. That was good. You're right on the edge. That's a single point, and he's definitely going to risk it. I mean, he kind of has to at this point. With Polly so close to being able to win, he kind of has to, to risk it right now. Right then, and oh, that's two. So that give him a total of three. Is he going to risk it again? He is. He's risking it. He's ignoring his... No, he's not. No, he's not. He's thinking about it. He's like in the middle. He can't decide. No, he's going to risk it. He's going to risk it. So no, he's not going to risk it. Is he going to risk it? He doesn't know. You've got to decide, Fizzy. You've got to decide one by the other. Okay, he's going to risk it. He's going to risk his two points. Is this going to pay off for him? I can hardly watch. Is he going to do it? No! <laughs> No, he should have risked it. I'm sorry, Fizzy. No, don't run away. It's only you could still win. Anything could happen. Literally anything could happen, Fizzy. <laughs> right, William is stepping up now. William has zero points so far. He's a lot to make up, but he's not gonna do it that way. No, 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 she didn't hurt me. She didn't hurt me. It's okay, Duncan. Settle down, settle down. Right then, it's my go. So what do I need again? I need four points still. I need four points. I've got no points from the last few rounds. I need to step it up. Give me a three. Give me a three. Ask for a three and you'll get a three. Okay, I got a one. Should I risk it? Should I risk it? I'm gonna, I can't, I, oh, I, I gotta risk it. I can't, I can't just accept a one. Not, not at this stage in the game. I can't accept a one. I need to get something else. Don't lose the points. Oh, where am I? No, I should have accepted the one. The one would have been absolutely fine. Right, it's all down to this. There's a good chance this might be the final one of this game. If Polly lands on the, the magenta or the pink, then she is going to be the outright winner. And the fact that I was in second place wouldn't matter. But no, no, she's not on the glowstone. Is she on the glowstone? No, she's not on the glowstone. She's very scarily close to the glowstone but not quite on the glowstone and um fizzy uh <laughs> fizzy yeah it's your go none of us none of us got like any points pretty much that round no fizzy it's your go you can do it you can know <laughs> fizzy it's you can't it's only a game fizzy look this is look i'll throw you a lucky bit of dirt and if you have this in your pocket 
then you'll see your luck is going to turn around. Honestly, you hold on to that lucky bit of dirt and nothing will go wrong. You're going to do absolutely fine. I mean, I shouldn't have given that to you. Now I don't have the lucky dirt. Who knows what's going to happen with my next rounds? But now you got that, I think you have a really good chance of doing well. No, I mean, you still need, you can't hold it in that hand. You've got to put it in your pocket and then you're still going to eat the chorus fruit. No, you can't just... <laughs> That's not what I was saying. You can't... You're still going to eat the chorus fruit. You can't just... No, that doesn't count, Fizzy. That's not the way the game's played. You've got to eat the chorus through but just just have the dirt on you and you see look look you're not gonna fall down look see you're gonna do amazingly this round wait for it there you go as i said you got you got one point already you might as well keep going now you got the lucky dirt in your pocket what can go wrong fizzy what can go wrong indeed <laughs> oh no i hope he does well i hope he does well i hope the lucky dirt was there you go three points i would stop i would stop fizzy oh no i, I don't know i mean you have got lucky dirt but let's not go crazy okay that's it wave wave the lucky dirt and jump up and down make sure you get its full effect and then let's see let's see where else you're going to go and <gasps> that's another one so what's that was that like four points no oh, don't don't keep going fizzy because honestly, we could both lose our points. I, I, I would bank it in. No, nope. Fizzy's really determined to keep going with that with that lucky dirt. So he's on four points so far. That would bring him only one underneath me if he banked it in now. Is he doing it again? No, he's he's playing it safe. He's backed out. Right, you're in, William. So that's, uh, I think that was four points. Uh, I believe that was to, to you, Fizzy, if you want to go and do your points. So now he's... um. Uh, yeah, I think he's only one underneath behind me. And oh, he's passed the lucky dirt over to William. I want my lucky dirt back. <laughs> Just don't give it to Polly. She's got enough natural luck. She doesn't need the, the lucky dirt. And there we go. The lucky dirt is once again doing its charms. That uh, gave uh, one point immediately for William. And pretty wisely, uh, he's going uh, straight in again to try and get something else. But no, you forgot to wave the lucky dirt around, William. Did you see that? The one time he didn't throw around the lucky dirt, it didn't help. And right, I am going in dirtless. I'm just going to go and try and do it with pure natural luck by itself. Um, oh, no. I'm going to have the lucky dirt. Okay, I'll use I'll use the lucky dirt. I don't, no, no. Oh, no. It got, I got a whole, like, stack of dirt and it got mixed up. I don't know which one the lucky dirt is. I'll just wave it all around instead. <laughs> right then. What do I... Okay, I, I need four still. I need four. Give me a three. Give me a three. No! I ruined it. The lucky dirt is over. I'm sorry. It might have been that one, Fizzy. Tell you what, take all of my dirt, and then the lucky dirt's in there somewhere. Okay, it's going to be one of them. I don't know which one it is, but it's going to be one of them. And anyway, I should be watching this, because this could this could be the end of the game here. And oh, oh, she's not on the glow. Is she on the glowstone, or is she is she on the side? <gasps> that couldn't have been closer, Polly. You are so, so lucky. I mean, you didn't get the points you needed, but you didn't lose the points. And really, that is kind of what matters even more now. And <laughs> Fizzy, I think, has put down all of the dirt. So he can see which one of them is the lucky dirt. I think he recognizes it. I think he can see the, the magical lucky glow around the outside. And I think, has he found it? No, he's he's got to study them all. I mean, it, it did work, to be fair. Look at his points this round and compare it to the points he's had up until now. It did the trick. Ah, of course, the lucky one that had grass spread to it first. That makes perfect sense. A very wise way to work out which block of dirt is lucky to help you with the mini game. Go ahead, Fizzy, jump in. <laughs> Wave your, your dirt around and then go and eat your, your chorus fruit. And where is he going to end up? He's going to teleport to... You didn't wave the dirt around, Fizzy. You didn't, you only held, you didn't wave the dirt around. You should know how the lucky dirt works by now, Fizzy. Oh no, Fizzy, don't run away. Oh, he's changing dirt. He thinks he got the wrong one. <laughs> he's going to try a different bit of dirt every time until he gets the right one. Anyway, William is up. All eyes on William. And that's a point. That's a point. That would be your, your only point on the board if you bank it. But nope, he's going straight back in. He's saying, I don't want your point. You can keep your point. I want more than one point. Is he going to get more than one point though? No, he's not. He's Fell down. Sorry, William. And oh, I'm up. I am up. I am up. Right, still four points for me to go. It's been quite a while since I got any points. I think if I even get a single point, I'm just going to get it at this point. No! I lost all of my points! Give me back my dirt, Fizzy! Give me, I need my dirt back! <laughs> I got to break away every single one of these blocks. Oh, that is absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Right, Polly, Polly is up now. Is this going to be the end of the game? Or is she going to lose her points like I did? <gasps> Two points. Two points. She's won. Well, unless she risks it. 
Are you going to risk it, Polly, and try and get more than 10 points? No, okay, obviously, she is way too smart to try and be <laughs> fooled with that. Press the buttons, Polly. So I guess on the bright side is that it doesn't really matter the fact that I ended up losing all of my points just because Polly ended up winning on that round anyway. So congratulations, Polly. You did absolutely amazing. I mean, that one round where you got six points, that was that was inspirational. People are going to be talking about the famous six-pointer risk it round for Millennium. They are. That is going to go down in history. And uh, even though uh, we really only had time to, to get one game in, let me just go and reset the game because it's just cool that you can kind of automatically uh, reset it. They're going to go and all drop away down into the, the hole. I can go and do this uh, back here. And then they're going to be nicely put uh, in the, the chest here. So we'll be ready uh, to set up uh, another game when we go and play in the, the future. But certainly that is the, the end uh, of this game here. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed us playing this mini game. And uh, yeah, we should at some point in the, the future who knows when, uh, come back here to, to have a, another gamer of Risk It. But yeah, as I said, that's the end of this episode here. So thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!